So you love barbecue and you wonder, Trent, what's a great wine for barbecue? <laughs> I've got one. Stay tuned. this week's episode. So you love barbecue just like we do and that could be barbecued pork ribs, beef ribs, brisket, pulled pork, or one of my favorite things to grill is tri-tip. So I have a wine that's going to be perfect for anything that you throw at it whether you're grilling a steak or you're having some pulled pork or uh, spare ribs whatever the case may be a California Zin is right up your alley. Well, this time I have a St. Francis Old Vine Zinfandel from Sonoma County, and this one is 2018. And guess what? Why is this one so good? Because you know what? The, the Zinfandel grape is going to give you that, that blackberry and black cherry, and it's not too tannic, it's not too acidic, and it goes so well with those foods. And this St. Francis is really a, a stunner. You can get this at your local grocery store. You can get it at Total Wine. I even saw it at wine.com and I bet you Trader Joe's has it as well. Uh, it's just really a delicious one. In fact, it's so good that it was in Wine Spectator's Savvy Shopper Wine to Try. So for about $20, you guys, you could drink really well. And what's nice about the Wine Spectator, which I, I subscribe to and I get it, how do I say it in a nice way? There are a lot of things in Wine Spectator that are sort of nice to read. Like I enjoy the exposés about the winemakers and the wineries, or maybe some like current trends that are going on in the wine industry that are nice to know. And what was nice about the June episode is not only did they feature this in the Savvy Shopper, and I'm gonna try to um, feature a lot of the wines in the Savvy Shopper. These are wines that are, you know, affordable. Uh, and, and one's worth kind of noting and, and, and try to search out. So this uh, St. Francis uh, was featured in a, an article or an expose that they did on California Zins. And what was nice about the St. Francis one is they had the winemaker, uh, Katie Madigan, uh, Katie Madigan, I'm sorry. And she uh, kind of has her philosophy and how she approaches wine. And it, it was just kind of made it nice. So when I tried the wine, it's just delicious. I got some uh, blackberry and some black cherry. It's so smooth, the tannins are nice, it's not too acidic, it's not too tannic, and the alcohol is a little higher than we normally like, but, uh, and my wife is very sensitive to alcohol, she barely likes anything above 13% alcohol. This one's about 14.5, but I had it with our grilled tri-tip and it was delicious, it was just perfect. So. I think this is going to be a great wine that you can find at your grocery store, like I said. Give it a try, it's not too expensive. And back to Wine Spectator. So, you know, I like the magazine. As I said, it features good articles. I love the savvy uh, shopper part. But um, when you look at Wine Spectator, it, it is a little tough to, when you're just getting started in the wine and you look at some of these things, do you think, this is so advanced or these wines are so expensive how would I ever afford them and I feel the same way I've been drinking wine and learning about wine for many years and I look at some of the things in Wine Spectator like their collectibles um, uh, section they have a whole page on like these are wines to collect well sometimes like 1800 is the is kind of like the normal price and then they'll have wines that are three thousand dollars a bottle that are like great for your cellar well Okay, <laughs> but I, I probably will not be paying $3,000 for one bottle of wine anytime soon. Uh, my director will probably um, you know, hurt me in some way if I came back uh, with a $3,000 bottle, uh, one bottle of wine. So it, it kind of covers everything from people who actually have jets that fly them around and have you know, massive wine cellars. That's great for them. And if you're one of them, that's great. You're gonna get some really great recommendations for wines. But I think for the rest of us, the Savvy Shopper is a good part and learning about the winemaker uh, like this one was, was kind of nice. So I got to learn a little bit about the winemaker. Uh, St. Francis really cares about their, their wines, uh, their grapes. And you will notice it says Old Vine. Old Vine Zinfandel, what does that mean? Well, 
old vine is something I always look for when I get a Zinfandel because I just tend to like the old vine style of uh, uh, wines. And it means that the grapes are at least 50 years old and that they're dry farmed and that they, you know, the winemaker is doing special things about the way they cut the leaves and, and, and make the grapes exposed to sun in certain ways. So it just means they, they really are uh, more concentrated. They don't yield, you know, big fat grapes. Um, they very small, very concentrated, and that kind of comes through in the wine. So you get a smooth, complex, um, easy drinking, food friendly wine. They just did a great job in 2018. So I highly recommend the St. Francis Old Vine Zinfandel from 2018. And if you get a chance today uh, online, and I found the article that I, uh, that I received from Wine Spectator, so you can read all about Katie and, and what she thinks about and how she's uh, doing the, the wines at St. Francis. But just one of those reliable California Zins that I'm telling you, anything grilled, anything barbecued, you are gonna be so happy. So look for it and uh, let me know what you think. Well, there's nothing like summer and barbecue and grilling, is there? So thank you very much for sharing our uh, channel with your family and your friends and your coworkers. And as we keep exploring the world of wine together, and I so appreciate all of your support. Well, until next time, everyone, cheers.